What is going on, gamers? Laz here, and today we're going to take a look at the mod High Energy Fire and figure out if it has a place or not. Alright, High Energy Fire. What do we know? It's a charge with light mod that was introduced in Season of Dawn. It costs 4 energy to slot into any armor piece. It boosts weapon damage by 20% while you're charged with light. It consumes a single charge after a weapon final blow. It does work in the Crucible, but we're not going to talk about that here. In general use in most activities in Destiny, an almost free 20% boost to all weapon damage sounds great. But my problem here is that in most activities, we are already overkilling the enemies with things like Rampage, Kill Clip, One For All, etc. So do we really need to add another 20% on top of that? Probably not. And that brings us to the point of this video. Endgame PvE content, specifically Grandmaster Nightfalls and Day 1 Raids. The content that includes the contest modifier, which limits you to a specific power level. The question is, is high energy fire good enough to use in that content? In my opinion, no, not at all. And here's why. When looking at other charge with light mods, we can find far better use of other things such as protective light or reactive pulse. If you've watched any of my GM guides, which you should, then you know that protective light is at the top of the list for me. But what you probably don't know is what this mod actually does, how it works, and why this mod plus something like high energy fire don't work well together in my opinion. If you have two stacks of charge with light when your shields break, when the white bar turns into the red bar, protective light will activate and last for 10 seconds. I know this says 9 seconds, but remember that 0 counts as a full second, so this is 10 seconds. At 3 stacks of charge with light, the timer gets increased to 13 seconds, and at 4 stacks, it goes all the way up to 16 seconds. And while protective light is active, you take a reduction in received damage. How much? 50%. Yes, you heard me right. You take 50% less damage once protective light procs. Doesn't matter if it's with one stack or five stacks of charge with light. The reduction in damage stays the same. So why do I think that this doesn't pair well with high energy fire? In my experience, you kill more enemies more often than you become quote unquote one shot. So no matter how many stacks of charge with light you've built up, odds are you're eating through them with your weapon kills. And once that time comes where you really need the damage resistance, you are now out of charges. In my opinion, survivability is far more important than the damage you could potentially be doing. Your potential damage output does not matter if you can't stay alive long enough to do the damage. That 20% increase to damage goes away the very second you die. So here's a scenario, you die. You now lost all of your charges, but you got rezzed. Someone pops a well or a bubble. You pick up the orbs they create and now you're good to go, right? Wrong. High energy fire doesn't stack with well or bubble. It doesn't even stack with a warlock's empowering rift. So on one side, we have a 20% increase to all weapon damage, but it doesn't stack with any abilities, gets overridden by these abilities, and it costs four energy to slot into any armor piece. And on the other side, we have a 50% damage reduction once your shields break, and it only costs 2 energy to slot into any void armor piece. When it comes to endgame PvE, you don't need the damage increase from high energy fire. When you need that damage, someone is usually there to pop a bubble, or a banner shield, or a well. So when you absolutely need that increase, it's already there. But what about running reactive pulse with protective light? Doesn't it also use a charge of charge with light when it procs? Yes. It does, and I'll briefly explain why I like these two mods together, and I pair them with another mod as well. When Reactive Pulse goes off, it has the potential to kill a few adds around it, but another thing it does is it momentarily stuns the enemies it hits. In practice, when I add Charged Up, these three mods help me live longer in Grandmaster Nightfalls. Charged Up is bringing our Charged With Light stacks up from 2 to 3, hence the name. Here's an example. I get hit by the enemies. Reactive Pulse goes off, and it eats one charge of Charge with Light, leaving me with two charges. Protective Light then procs and consumes those last two charges. 
The enemies around me are now stunned for a moment, and I have 10 seconds of a 50% reduction in damage. 10 seconds is plenty of time to get out of there and find cover and regain your footing, and it saves costing your team a potential res. In short, high energy fire is underwhelming, protective light is insane, and reactive pulse plus charged up is the icing on the cake. I stream fairly regularly on Twitch, link is in the description below. You can also follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with my Twitch question marks. That link is also in the description. And that's that. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video, drop a comment down below to continue the discussion, insert witty sub to me comment here, and Laz out. Okay.